Hi, my name is Mary Wong. Welcome to my live post number 33, where we're in beautiful Vancouver, British Columbia. And I'm calling this um, post, live post number 33, as where great minds meet, because as we know, unfortunately, fertility challenges are really prevalent in our society and all over the world, where one in six couples and uh, women have issues over their lifetime with regards to fertility challenges. And here, we have over 600 professionals, most of which are traditional Chinese medicine practitioners, meeting up, talking about, and learning all about um, fertility and how to treat it, and how uh, just where great minds meet. And here I have one very special person I'd like you to meet. Her name is Dr. Randine Lewis, and she is my mentor, my friend, and I've known her for many years, and I would love her to speak to this uh, weekend. I actually uh, sat in on a class of hers today, I lectured all day, and at the end, which was, I so appreciate that we did some qigong, and um, maybe you could actually tell people what qigong is to start. Sure, I'd love to, I'd love to, and thank you. This is just such an amazing opportunity to be out here where, like Mary said, it, it is an issue, but it's an issue that people are getting together to address in different ways. And I think that that's important to stress, that, that there are hopeful ways of moving into resolution. And the earlier that it's caught, the, the better when we start seeing some issues that arise. And it actually can be preventive in other health concerns of the reproductive system or that might be markers of autoimmunity or things like that that can show up later on. So I didn't even get to Qigong. So <laughs> <laughs> oh, and by the way, just so I need to preface this, um, Randy Lewis basically is the pioneer of integrative medicine in the field of fertility with regards to integrating Eastern and Western medicine. She started out as a physician and um, is now completely delved into Chinese medicine for how many years now? 20. Okay, so a long time. <laughs> and she had written the first book with regards to integrated medicine on fertility called The Infertility Cure, which um, many may, might actually be very familiar with. And she's definitely one of my inspiration in, in writing my book as well. Well, thank you. And as I said in Mary's book, is like hers took off where mine left off. <laughs> so she's really added a lot more of her own heart with it. And and we've you know, we've got a great arising in this community because there is such a need. And there's so many things that Chinese medicine can offer, like Qigong. And Qigong is it's a meditative movement practice where there are particular movements that might open up the heart, open up the uterus, open up the pelvic area, allow a communication to go on that was previously obstructed. And so there are many movements that use the energy to open up the, channel, the channels and also to calm the mind, to get one into kind of a meditative state where they're paying attention to how their energy is moving or not moving, where it's weak, where it's obstructed. And that's the same premise that goes into Chinese medicine, but this is kind of the do-it-yourself part. Which is excellent because unfortunately for many of us, you know, you, you cannot do self-administered acupuncture, at least I hope you're not doing that. And so it's a wonderful way to tap into your own energy and help realign and create balance in your body, mind, and spirit so that you can align yourself in a way that you're just spontaneously more receptive to yourself, to your life, to your womb, to everything. Well said, well <laughs> said. And it really works. I, when I started doing, doing Qigong a whole lot, a lot of years ago, I didn't have any exposure to that type of movement. I only knew running, walking, biking, toning, yoga, I didn't like holding the poses. And I started doing Qigong and I started noticing these amazing things started to happen. My knees weren't so creaky, my joints weren't aching so much, my hair stopped falling out. And, and it gave me this sense of serenity and peace and inner calm where things could rectify themselves, where this inner balance was recognized for the first time. And coming from Western medicine, it, 
it didn't quite click what was going on. I, I didn't have any explanation for it. And yet the proof was in the response. And that proof that was in the response ended up being um, the direction that not only took care of my fertility issues and many, many others, but a lot of other issues as well. So um, I'm so thrilled that Mary is doing this and getting the word out there where it needs to be heard. So. Thank you. Thank well, you. with your permission, what I would like to do then, in perhaps in another post, is to actually go through some of these qigong exercises, and I'll definitely credit you because you know, again, huh, an sure. inspiration. And so it'll be just you know, 10, 15 minutes, so that you can do this in the comfort of your own home, and perhaps as a practice to start your day, not as a something to add to your list, but really something that can bring forth. Uh, fruitfulness, like just makes you feel good to start the day versus, oh my gosh, I just added another thing on my list to do. And it actually makes you more effective too. Mm, absolutely. But 10 minutes of doing Qigong can add so much efficiency to your day. Right. That it really makes a difference. So you have more time to rest and take care of other things, i.e. yourself, throughout the day. Yes, and when you say efficient, that also means, it doesn't mean, you know, when you're working, right? We always think, oh, the more we work, the more we'll get done. Well, sometimes that's not efficiency. Imagine adding a practice of something like Qigong into your life only about 10 minutes, and you'll find yourself more clear, and mentally clear, physically alert, so that when you actually pursue your job, whatever you're doing, you'll have that clarity to perform your job even that much better. Without stress, anxiety, and the tangled, what do I need to do next, what do I need to do? You're totally present for what's at hand. Mm -hmm. And you know, I actually have to add this in. So I'm kind of like how you were, the type A person. And um, I'm not the sit down kind of type meditative person saying OM. And Qigong for me works much better because it's actually movement exercises that stimulates and moves your Qi energy in your blood. So I think, especially for all those um, movers and shakers out there, this might be right up your alley. So join me next time where I'm going to teach you how to do uh, Qigong. And I think that's it. Lovely. Thank you for coming. And please check out my more posts um, as you scroll down, like my page. And uh, I have a Google talk called, um, well, it's Talks at Google, and it's called Conceivable. And, oh my goodness, what's the title? Conceivable, Reversing the Modern Day Dilemma. So please check that out. Check out my book, Pathways to Pregnancy. Check out Randine's uh, initial book, which is The Infertility Cure. She has another book called The Way of the Fertile Soul. Excuse me. <laughs> okay, have a great night. Take care. Bye. Bye.